one. Hey guys, welcome back to the Junkyard Jawa Cast. It's me, Andrew, coming at you, coming at you live with the upside down finale. That is cornerback versus Kyle T. Uh, joining me today, we have a special guest. It is Stephen of Dad Gaming. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. How are you doing on this fabulous day before Thanksgiving? I'm doing all right. I had a short work day. I uh, got home around lunchtime, so uh, decided to jump on here. Gotta love it. Short work days are the best part of Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dylan Fernandez. Hey, Major League X-Men hype, indeed. Uh, hello, Daniel, Jeremy, and Wallace, House of Wallace. I like it. Um, so these two players, both very good players, obviously, to make it to the final. Uh, we do have uh, Kyle on the right playing a resistance list. Meanwhile, cornerback is playing a scum list. Uh, cornerback has not lost with this list in this format yet. Um, yeah. He is eight and zero. Wow. Yeah, uh, Kyle has only lost once. Uh, he is seven and one. Um, so both players have done very well up until this point. Uh, on Kyle's uh, li on Kyle's list, excuse me, uh, we have uh, R one J five, uh, also known as Bucket, with Chewbacca crew. So you'll hear him referred to as Chewbacca. A lot of the time. <laughs> uh, Chewbacca crew is going to let him change some of those eyeball results on offense to a crit. Um, we've got Jaker's Tubbs with a BB Astromech. Uh, Tubbs lets you remove a blue, uh, or I'm sorry, remove a stress token after doing a blue maneuver. And he can remove that from a friendly ship at range 0 to 1 or himself. Uh, we've got Lieutenant Bastion giving out some free locks, also, or getting some free locks, also with a BB Astromech. Finally, we've got Finn with Heroic and Han Solo. And Rose with C-3PO. Uh, we've seen Kyle's list a few times here in the Jawa cast. Um, he definitely likes to keep Rose back and uses C-3PO's ability to coordinate at any range a ship that has a cal uh, that has the calculate action on his action bar to give Bucket that coordinate uh, from afar. So you'll probably see him keep Rose back for a while. And then if you want to go over the uh, cornerback's list, Stephen, that would be great. Yeah, so on the scum side of the board, cornerback is flying a, uh, I'll go in the order of the overlay here. Uh, we got Sunny Bounder with Auto Blasters uh, doing the whole add the matching results if you after you re roll a re-roll, um, if you have the same results. Um, then we have Indaltra, or Inaldra, in however you say that. And the other, another M3A, um, basically doing the, uh, you can suffer damage to re-roll any number of dice. And he's got auto blasters there. And then we got Sarko Plink with automated targeting priority and dead man switch. And Sarko uh, can basically, uh, if it does a three speed maneuver, can uh, roll a three green dice. Um, that's basically the only time that'll activate that ship, that pilot ability. And then um, the uh, the whole automated targeting priority is uh, you got to shoot the, the closest ship. So uh, I imagine he's going to be flying these things close together to be uh, triggering that those auto band targeting priorities together. Uh, but if you miss, you get to calculate before you engage. You can take another calculate. Um, it'll be cool to see how he uses that with those backup maneuvers on these uh, these space tugs. Uh, then we have Unkar Plut at the start of the engagement. Um, you can basically give another ship a tractor token and take a tractor token, um, move ships around. Uh, you know, at the start of the engagement phase, could be really tricky. Uh, and then we've got um, Namlum, which is uh, the jump master, uh, the I-1 jump master, who points his gun and everybody shoots at him. And he's got Greedo on there with auto blasters, and we are missing uh, Gargor on the overlay. No, I can see. I can see him. He's at the very top. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, there he is. I have a, <laughs> I have a page score down. No worries. All right. Gargor, after you defend, if uh, each friendly ship suffers a crit damage at range zero. And then we have auto blasters. Um, with this format, Gargor is going to be an initiative seven. He's going to be moving last, shooting first. Um, he's actually really powerful. I, I've seen, uh, I've actually flew against Gargor um, mm -hmm. in this tournament. Yeah, the, the M3s have been very popular in this tournament. Or tournament. Obviously, upside down. Uh, the format, if you are not familiar, it is flipped initiative, like Steven said. 
Uh, so I0 becomes a, basically an I7. Uh, meanwhile, I7 would become the I0. I7s move last, I0s, or I'm sorry, I7s move first, I0s move last, uh, and shoot first. Um, yeah, the M3 as a chassis was very popular in this format, uh, because yeah. you've got some good low initiative choices. Uh, I had a, uh, I had a build um, with Nomlum that was kind of like the whole Dengar with the Han Gunner and Proton Rockets. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't bring that, but um, it just looked fun to try. You ended up bringing a first order list, right? I did. Uh, I brought um, a the Epsilon. Who was it? Um, the I1 Epsilon. Oh, shoot. I don't know, actually. He does have, does have a tractor token for, in exchange for stress. Okay. I forget the name of the pilot. Anyway, uh, but I had... Is uh, it Thanison? Is that it? Thanison, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. And so I had a collision detector... Um, uh, Terex, Captain Phasma crew, um, pattern analyzer, and then I flew Muse alongside that um, okay. in the Tie Fighter, so I could just take the stress away and stop as many times as yeah. I wanted. Yeah, solid. Uh, then I had Revis, and then um, uh, Rush in the Silencer. Okay. And so um, I had like a a one point bid, but I think uh. That's what got me a lot of times was the not not being able to have that bid on initiative. Mm -hmm. I did make top sixteen, uh, but yeah, I believe you were the top FO player actually. Yes, I, I did. I made top FO player as well. There you go. We got a very fancy uh, FO dial cover from Kuwait Print Yards coming your way. Yeah, I'm um, looking forward to that. The I I, I ordered this time. He's got a new color, a sparkle black. Um, so that's what I ordered them in Ooh. this time, and I, I they're really cool. I have to say the Sparkle Black is pretty neat. Uh, I'm looking forward um, to that. I, I got, yeah, both the Empire Dial cover and the First Order ones had the Sparkle on it. Um, and now I'm thinking I got to order some for my uh, for myself. <laughs> only, right. only problem is I don't play FO or uh, Empire, so I got to figure out uh, what faction <laughs> I want to use Black for. I guess I could right. do Resistance Black and Orange. That could work. Um, yeah, yeah. It would be a good Black One Dial cover. Uh, but both players are getting ready to go here. Um, who, do, who do you have for this match? What do you think? Oh, man. Um, I think I would choose uh, the scum. Mm -hmm. uh, well, for one, cornerback is just... Uh, yeah. Or, he's just proved himself. He's, uh, he's, he's got, got a reputation for a reason. He's a very good player. Yeah. Uh, and also, you just have um, just different shenanigans going on with uh, yep. these... Um, back and forth. Um, what do you call the space tugs? Yeah, the tugs. I'm. I, I really like automated target priority on these things. I think that's a very solid one point upgrade. Um, especially since you're, you're going to be using your action to tractor once you get into the fray. So being able to probably get a passive mod at least once or twice uh, yeah. would be pretty solid for getting some extra damage through once you start tractoring away. Right. Uh, the one thing you do have going for you if you're Kyle is if you get tracked to somewhere you don't want to be, uh, those BB Astromex can be really useful into getting you back on track. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Uh, it, it, does he have that on again? He's the got BB it on Astromex. Tubbs and Bastion. So the two x wings have the BB Astromex. Um, they'll be able to uh, get out there if they need to um, and get yeah, away actually, if they get tracked. Um, was it cornerback or was it was it him that flew the uh, the five initiative ones? Um, or no, it was, I think it was like four initiative ones, X-Wings, somebody mm, Oh, that. it was, um, I think, wasn't that Funwalk? Oh, time yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Funwalk did that in a Renegades tournament a while ago. Uh, he was flying Rose and four I-1 X-Wings. Oh, and, that's what it was. And those were, we that was a scary, uh, that was a scary list. Yeah, um, he, what he did is he kept his fulls, um, kept his fulls flipped the yeah. other way, uh, closed. Yeah. And so he he could basically just um, just skirt down the board edge, uh, and then whenever he got ready to engage, he could just scoot around obstacles and just keep his formation and his firing arcs going yep. the same direction. Absolutely. I, I had the uh, I don't I don't want to say displeasure because he wasn't um, uh, he was going to tractor Unkar, or in tractor huh. Sarka rather. Excuse me. Um, I don't believe he can do that. You, can you move someone? Oh, you can't rotate. That's right. You can move them, but you can't rotate them. 
Um, yeah. That's right. So you can if you charge yourself, you can move it, but you just can't rotate afterwards. Uh, probably right. trying to line up an early shot for Umkar or for Sarka rather to start getting that automated target priority working. Right. Yeah. Trying um, to get uh, that calculate. But that uh, those what was it the the uh, fun walks list is just so good at being able to block if they need to or get around and get that like you said go around obstacles get those firing arcs out. Um, yeah. It was a very spooky list to play. That was fun. We do see, uh, we see uh, Kyle going for a joust here. I don't know if I would do the same. I wouldn't joust these auto blaster and three eights. Yeah, that, that's the thing I think I'm worried about. They're gonna have three attack dice and three agility for the most part. Um, yeah. I guess. Also, um, uh, three three agility is better than two uh, two yeah, agility. On exactly. A joust. Yeah. Um, I mean, all of his ships have two agility. Uh, yeah. Finn will be able to do, you know, he'll be able to thin things up and do uh, and get lots of other defense dice if needed, but... Yeah. So how to say this here? Um, I was looking at Han Solo mm -hmm. over here, trying to figure out how that works. Oh, okay. Yeah, Han Solo is... I, so I saw Han Solo originally, and it's not Perceptive Copilot, because, you know, you're so used to seeing that on Finn. Um, yeah. But Han Solo... Uh, now, Han Solo crew does a really good job of... If you're bringing Finn into the fight, you can add those evades. You get a bunch of evade tokens if you're... Um, if you get, you know, into range one of a lot of enemies. Uh, yeah. and it'll really help Finn just stay alive. I, I like that combo. Um, it's much more defensive it's, than we usually see. But it's yeah, also... It's definitely different it's also a lot cheaper than we usually see finn as well yeah um, so he's got that how many, going how many for him. Finn? 34 points finn is 34 points in this build uh it's 20 this is still using the old points so it's 29 base for oh, finn okay. then one for heroic and four for han solo so new points would only be one more one point cheaper he went up to 30 with the uh, update yesterday uh, which okay. is still a solid cost for what you're getting out of him uh, he can really pack a punch, even just, you know, loaded with heroic, and that's all you really need. <laughs> yeah. But you can also build some super fins, and those are scary. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we see people in the chat. They're cheering for Kyle. Playing, played him in JJJ and had a lot of fun. Uh, Denfro is cheering for him, but he does think Scum is going to win. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat. The, you've got the extra health, uh, or the extra ship, rather, excuse me. If you're a uh, cornerback right now, you're it's a 6v5. Um, so just on a pure numbers game, you're going to have the advantage uh, for a while. What these yeah. T-70s need to do, I think, is probably go after one of these tugs first. Get them out of the way. Get them um, get them out of the yeah. game so they don't yeah. throw you around everywhere. And they're also going to be easier to kill, given that, again, they they have no shields. Uh, it's o only two agility. Um, yeah. You know, a few crits coming in here or there can be very useful to try to get these out of the game. Uh, and Bucket, of course, with Chewbacca Crew. Um, he's got that uh, Chewbacca Crew, which will let him use both charges on Chewbacca to change an eyeball to a crit result. So he'll be able to get some crits in that way. And anytime a friendly ship will take a damage card, he gets to recover a charge. Uh, Chewbacca, oh, wow. Chewbacca is a, a fun combo, as we've been starting to call him here. Um, Chewbucket. Chewbucket. Especially since Bucket has that crew slot instead of the uh, instead of the Ashramek slot. Yeah. Uh, Bucket actually got a points decrease uh, yesterday too. I think all of the yeah all of the um, fireballs did except for the generic. So yeah. Uh, How about that points change? That was a that was a lot going on there. I was I was so surprised because no one I mean no one was expecting that right. We were just expecting right. them to show points for the new ships. And they released yeah. the article, and they said they wanted to move the January event to November anyways, or the January change. And then, I mean, hyperspace, I have no idea what the meta in hyperspace is going to be right now. Oh, goodness. It, I, I was mentioning that last night on, on my stream, mm -hmm. saying it kind of sounds like uh, they got a little lazy, and they were like, okay, this ship is all generics. This ship is only limited pilots. Uh, any, mini money, mo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's a really interesting idea. I have no idea how it's going to play out. <laughs> right. So it's kind of like, well, this is going to be really weird. And they also, like, one thing they said is any ship that's been officially released in 2.0 is now hyperspace viable, just not all the pilots, uh, right. which is weird. Um, UGC Rose coordinating 
Finn there. Um, Finn, uh, or the coordinate with 3PO means it says after you coordinate, you can gain a calculate token. Rose will still yep. have a way to mod her defense dice, which is pretty solid. 3PO crew is pretty good. I, I do like him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this points update, I have no idea what's going to shake out. Um, also, giving the Fang Fighters a mod slot scares the crap out of me. Uh, oh, shield, really? yeah, yeah, shield upgrade that. Fang Fighters is spooky. I'm just glad oh, Fen Rao doesn't get fly, one. Um, you can fly four of the I-1 Fang Fighters with Stealth Device. Oh, goodness. Stealth Device <laughs> actually would be pretty solid on these since, you know, you're getting that free of aid most times anyways. Yeah, like, yeah the Concordia. I, I feel like if you if you flew it right, that would actually be good. Yeah. But it was it just this is one of those memes. <laughs> yeah. Those meme lists. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Finn is using Han Solo here. He's going to gain two extra evades. Since Han says gain an extra evade for each enemy ship at range 0 to 1. Um, so it has a focus, has three evades. I mean, Finn is looking pretty solid uh, if you are oh, uh, Kyle. And we just saw um, the yellow X-Wing there. Who is that? Yep, uh, that's Bastion. Bastion. We just saw him use the BB Astromech to barrel roll uh, so that he didn't get blocked by Sarko. Yeah, I like that move. Um, it shows you how uh, versatile that can be. Yeah, they're going to be real nice here, especially when you have them on these uh, pseudo high initiatives. Um, right, yeah. FTF up, get out of here. He says no afterburners for Fen with a sad face, and I say he does not need afterburners. Right. Fen Rao doesn't need help. Fen Rao is already good. Uh, Bastion does I a blue maneuver. Or not Bastion, I'm sorry. Um, Tubbs does the blue maneuver, is able to clear his stress from an ally, he clears the stress from Fen. So now Finn has three of eights, a focus, and is no longer stressed. I mean, man, that's pretty good. Right. Bucket coming in, just taking calculate. Tokens. Yeah, I mean, heck, you, you gotta, I mean, I don't even know if you bother shooting at him right now. You don't have the bullseye with the, um, with, uh, Sonny and Gargor. Yeah. I mean, I think he's so avoided the, the bullseye on everyone except for, uh, who's that, Naldra? Yeah, Naldra has, uh, Rose bullseye so that would be... Uh, well, it looks like Forla might have a range one bullseye shot. Oh, that's true. He does have a, he has autos as well. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, he's going to choose to take the range three shot from Gargor into Tubbs, going after the I-1 first. Uh, not really going to get much out of it. I mean, do you bother uh, spending the calculate? Yes. He's going to. Yeah. If you're going to go into something, you got to go into it. That's fair. Tubbs is fine. Yeah. Gets one. Yep. Yeah, he's going to... Yeah, that was a... Kyle has a, I think this is a pretty good setup uh, for Kyle for what you want here. Because um, he's now going to take these worse shots instead of taking the better shot at Finn. Uh, just because Finn has so many mods. And he can add the blank, take a right. um, evade, all that nonsense. Uh, so Finn definitely, Joe, I agree with you there. Shoot me. <laughs> yeah, shoot me. I, I dare you. I dare you. It's range one. <laughs> yeah. Although I got to say, if you if you shoot him with uh, Sunny here, I mean, any crits you get, I don't think Finn's canceling. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, at the very least, you can be like, yeah, you can't use a token if I roll a crit. You just have to roll a crit. And if you roll three crits... Oh, goodness. I actually saw, I actually saw that on a game uh, recently. Oh, yeah? Um, if you roll that, then you add one. Yeah, and then he's dead for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't live you can't through four crits if you're a fin. Uh, there is one crit. Uh, I don't think you bother spending that focus because you don't. You know he's not going to, you know... There's no way he's yeah, avoiding just leave it. it. Yeah, just, just leave, leave it, it like that. I mean, unless you're shooting everyone else with him, I don't think you spend... Like, unless you were trying to get him to spend uh, evades for other shots, I wouldn't bother using the focus, but um, I think that's what he's probably going to do. Looks like he's deciding uh, whether or not to use it. He's not going to use it. Makes sense. Finn can't avoid the crit anyways. It's an auto blaster. Yep. He'll that's lose the shield. That's not bad. That's pretty solid for... Uh, I mean, for what, you know, for how loaded up Finn is right now, that's not bad at all. Yeah. And that's the power of Autoblasters right there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Autoblaster M3As are very, very good for 28 points uh, for the jam. Yeah. I flew a, um, the first Space Jam, I flew a Drea Swarm with Autoblasters uh, M3As. Oh, yeah? And I, I made top 16. Oh, very nice. With, the, with that. Yeah. I think that's what, uh, someone ran that in squad leader and did pretty well. Uh, we're going to spend Greedo here, make one a crit. Finn should be fine. He's got many evades. Yeah. Uh, spends one of them here, and he's good to go. Um, 
Uh, oh, Dylan says his Gorgo got double direct hit through a cloud by an auto blaster this tournament. Ouch. Ouch. Oof, losing a Nantex like that it must hurt. That's what you get for flying a Nantex, though, Dylan. I hate to tell you. Yeah. Oh. That was the payback for just bringing yeah. the, the Nantex. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle is going into Nom Lum here. That may be a mistake. I think you take that range one shot on to Sarko. But... Uh, regardless, yeah, I would shoot everything into Sarko. Uh, he's going to spend two Chewbacca charges to get a crit. Uh, Nam has a focus. Probably going to spend it. Yeah, I mean, why not? Yeah. Spends it to get enough evades. Um, yeah, I would have just shot Sarko there. I mean, now you got to keep shooting Nam, though. Don't stop shooting him now. You've already shot him once. I feel like Nam is going to get in the way. <laughs> yeah. I, I think... Quarterback, uh, so he's moving first. Yep, yep, Kyle got the bid by two points. I think you've already shot Nom once, you gotta keep going. We can't hit him the whole chassis because I mean, Spantex got, is the uh, looking man. Disagree. You got three <laughs> dice against two right there. Yeah, I, he doesn't have a mod. Again, I think Bucket should have shot at Sarko. However, now that you shot at Nom, you gotta keep going, like you said earlier. Instead, well, he's, he's gonna go for fire. Unkar. I don't super get this strategy that Kyle's going for here. Kind of splitting fire. Uh, oh, you had to I get a duty charge out. Into Sarko. Yeah, I mean, you've got I mean, four firing arcs on a Sarko. I agree. That's not a bad shot. I mean, oof, that's pretty solid there. Hit, hit, crit going into Unkar. Unkar's taking a hit, crit. And the damage is. Uh, damage sensor damage. ray. Yeah. Oh, that's huge. Unkar will not be giving out tractor tokens unless he bumps Oop. now. By the way, did you see um, the new change to the jam? I did. I like that a lot. Uh, so and Bastion does get a lock, yeah. There you go. Say again? It's only in Bullseye, right? It's Yeah, only in Bullseye is at range 2. It's range 1 everywhere else. I think it's a solid change. Jam has been pretty weak uh, in 2.0. Um, and I don't believe it's going to be too oppressive with that Bullseye rule. I think it'll help uh, a few chassis, but I, mean, I don't think there's anything that's going to be able to abuse it. Uh, we do see Hit Crit coming out of Sarko, going into Tubbs here. Tub's going to roll one, take a shield. We'll deny the free calculate. <laughs> I'll say the other the other build I like on these uh, tugs a lot is what you actually took to squad leader, was was the composure, Zuvio. Yeah. Um, composure is a cool uh, a cool upgrade there. Yeah, um, if, you, if you attempt that uh, that tractor and you can't, if you don't reach yeah. range one, then you, uh, you just get the focus. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, Inaldra could take a damage to reroll. Chooses not to. Um, we've got... Unkar got nothing on uh, Bastion. Some bad first opening engagement for uh, Dice here. At least for uh, cornerback side. Kyle's been doing okay. He's going to get another crit. I mean, spends the lock on Bastion. Yeah, and spend that focus. And that's You're getting your crit through at the very least. Uh, just a crit. Not bad. Yep. Well, it's another crit, though. Fuel leak. Ooh. One more to kill. One more crit, right? One more crit to kill, yes. He has got two health remaining, but one crit could do it. Uh, I mean, Finn, go for it. Yeah, go for Unkar. You've already got him at two. We know how consistent Finn can be. Speak of the devil. He's going to take a strain to add a focus. Yep. And do Finn shenanigans. we got three hits. I mean... That is so consistent. Uh, that's two. That's a dead Unkar. Wow. So, uh, only t 15 minutes in, and we're already, uh, we already see um, uh, Unkar plot down. 32 points for Kyle. Early lead. Unkar dead. Now it's a 5v5. Oh, we do see he, uh, the dead man switch. Gives, yeah, he gives his friend a damage. Yeah, it looks like he's going to just clip Sarko on that one. Uh, so I see why he didn't shoot Sarko that Ah, uh, yep, I forgot about Dead Man's. So, we both <laughs> did, it looks that. like. <laughs> they he would have been given three of his ships of damage if he would have killed Sarko there. I actually think if you zoom in, I do not believe so. I'm going to say no on the damage there. They asked me if he's in. I'm saying no. Magnifying so he's, glass. Yeah, if you do the M magnifying glass, you can see it. He's just out. Yeah, he's not, it's, it's not in. Yep, Joe backs us up there. DMS on Sarko is the reason why Kyle wasn't going into Sarko. Yep. 
That makes sense now. I completely had forgotten about that. Uh, but good news is heroes. Kyle didn't. Uh, she has one reroll, no heroic, and is sad. Ouch. That's why you take heroic. By the way, heroic went up. Only yeah, on A wings. Abilities. Yeah, only yeah. on A wings, which is bizarre. But um, I guess they just wanted to nerf the five A. But at the same time, cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, and the uh, I find it hilarious that Merle stayed the same. Yep. And the the generics went up. Yeah, the generics went up. So the better one is cheaper. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, the good thing is um, the the i three that just came out like Solinda Javis something like that Javos I don't know uh, she was cheaper than the i three generic she is now one point more uh, so, oh, which okay. is good <laughs> her ability is if you oh, get blocked um, you can take a strain to rotate um, yeah 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 which is a good ability but like you know it shouldn't be cheaper than the generic at that point <laughs> right um. Well, that was a really good round of engagement uh, for Kyle. You traded two damage for a whole, uh, a whole Unkar plot. Right. Yeah. What the hell is an Aldra? I agree. Uh, I agree, Nickel City. I agree, Greg. I don't know what an Aldra is. That's a funny I thing. Never we were... it an Aldra. That's the funny thing is again the M threes are such a popular chassis in this format in the upside down, but this is I think is the only instance of an Aldra. There's plenty of Latens. There's plenty of gargores and sunnies but only one of the i2 uh, i could understand if you have a range one auto blast oh um, hey thanks greg for the sub the focus yeah and, and you roll like all blanks and you have a focus token I, I i would roll i would take my shield to reroll all my dice yeah absolutely i think it's a good end game ability it's a, it's a target lock yep I think it's a very good end game ability where you really have to get damage through, and you can you know maybe you have a, a decent position for an altar where she's not in too much or he or she isn't in too much damage, yeah. um, and you can take that damage to reroll. Uh, she was in Gal a Galaxy's NPC. Thank you, Dylan. Good to know. She was an NPC in the starting station of Star Wars Galaxies way back when, along with Sarasu. There you go. Um, I could see in that situation you may use it, but like that ability is just sort of meh. <laughs> it's not the yeah. greatest. I mean, anytime you're taking self damage, it's not good for competitive play. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, you're just giving away points. Absolutely. Yeah, Greg asks, "How on earth is Wampa not everyone's first pick in this format?" It is definitely because Empire lacks a lot of named low initiative pilots, which is what right. you need since there's no generics in this format. I actually flew an Empire list with a Decimator, a Lambda, and two Tie Fighters. Um, I liked it. I think the Decimator. I was Lieutenant Psy and. Uh, Captain Oiken. So the attack, um, or the the action synergy you get out of Psy is very good. Uh, Psy's ability is you coordinate, and then if the ship did an action on your action bar, you can do the same action. So what I would do okay. is I would keep Psy uh, behind the decimator, coordinate the decimator, a reinforce, and then um, Psy would also get a reinforce, and then with the title, she could take a lock, or they could take a lock. She, he, I don't oh, know. Oh, that's nice. Lieutenant could take a, t a lock on anything at range 3 of the uh, Decimator. Yeah, it was really good. I also gave uh, Krennic on the shuttle. That way Krennic's ability could work with the uh, whole, um, you know, the optimized prototype. If you have a lock, the defend or your optimized prototype can uh, use that lock to um, use a lock to strip a shield or turn over a damage. Yeah. So there weren't a whole lot of folks playing Empire. From what I recall, none of them made cut. Yeah, exactly. The, th the key thing about Empire is, while well, Wampa is fantastic, um, the problem now becomes, uh, what do you pair Wampa with? And we don't really know. Uh, we did see Sarko did track the uh, uh, tubs there. What's Wampa's ability? Uh, um, if you get shot, you lose a charge. Uh, Wampa has one charge. Um, but if your charge is still active when you engage, you get to roll an extra attack die. So Wampa is a 3-3 three, three if you can engage first, or if you don't get shot. Huh. Uh, which is solid, but the problem is, again, there's not really much to pair her with. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we saw um, we saw Sarko give out that Tractor token. Yep. Chose uh, not to move him, though. Chose to just leave yeah. him there. Both yeah, players got, playing yeah, very aggressive. The, the 3k there. I saw, I saw the 3k coming from Finn. Yeah, the 3k made sense, especially coordinating that focus. Um, you're going to see a blue tractor and a bump out of, uh, tubs. 
Or that was a BB, I'm that sorry. The, yeah, the BB. So they're both out of BB charges, both using them pretty early. Um, that was good, though, to use that BB, BB charge, even though he bumped, because he has his firing arc uh, yeah. pointed in that direction. Yep. And he also blocked um, uh, Bucket. Bucket. Yep. Uh, so Bucket can get a shot on his Sarko at range yeah. one if he wants wants that. Yeah, Ravenwing actually did have targeting computer on Night Beast. Uh, that was one of the other one of the Tie Fighters I had was Valen Reuter and uh, Night Beast, both of which give extra actions. Uh, another shield off Tubs. Uh, again, the dice just have not been there for cornerback so far. Yeah. I mean, that's what he needs. That's what you need if you're Kyle when you're coming into this and you have a, a one fewer gun on the board. <laughs> Uh, hey, and I'll... when we go back to the, the next planning phase, why don't you tell us about the next uh, Jawa? Yeah, of course. Uh, we see a damage going into Rose that was off of Sunny. Uh, Rose gets one reroll because of uh, there's another ship, another friendly ship in the attack arc. She spends a calculate and is fine. Rose's ability very comes in very handy. Um, yep, those rerolls. Chooses to uh, go after Bastion instead of Finn. I feel like you shoot Finn here. Finn has no shields. You know you're going to get a crit with Greedo. Um, so, uh, Bastion... Oh, oh, it was an auto blaster. He couldn't defend. He didn't bother rolling. Makes oh, sense. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. The bad thing is Greedo couldn't, wasn't spent, so you're getting a crit onto... Uh, onto uh, Nam here. May not really matter. Doesn't matter. Yep. Just the okay. one for Bucket. Uh, now we do have Tubbs. It's gonna shoot Gar. Yeah, I mean, oh. shoot Gar, shoot an Aldra. I mean, they're both pretty even right now. Or Sunny, whoever that is. Oh, I think nice. it's Sunny. Two crits out of Tubbs. Tubbs rolling hot. Spins to calculate. Yeah. Uh, He'd go with a nod. Yeah, an Aldra was on that bumped. Uh, Sarko is going to have nothing. Uh, we do have an Aldra's shot range two. Bullseye, so you're going to get three dice on the tubs. Uh, hit crit, not bad. Need one to avoid a crit going through. Uh, he will not. He's going to take a crit. All right. Panic pilot. Oh. So honestly, on Tubbs, Panic Pilot's fine. You do a blue, you get to remove a stress from a friendly ship range 0 to 1. So he can actually re he can remove two stress next turn. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Panic Pilot is not bad on Tubbs. It does mean you're doing a blue, but not terrible. Finn, range 1. He's going to take the strain and out of focus, because why wouldn't you here? Four damage nice. going in to Gargore. Very good. Oh, oh no. That's a dead that Gargore. one shot. Holy cow. Ouch. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I mean, you just got on the board with... Uh, cornerback just got on the board with half points on Tubbs and already lost uh, that the points he just gained by getting totally destroyed by uh, by Finn there. That is not Man, good. That, that was a... That was hard. That was, that, that was brutal. That hurt, yeah, that, that hurt. hurt. my feelings. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely agree with that one. That one just felt mean. Uh, Rose has some options. She can go into Sargo. She can go into Nam. Um, resistance cheater. <laughs> Finn is a bully. I mean, he no no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Finn just hurts. It's a big deal. He's a big deal. <laughs> what his card says. Yeah, that's a fact. All right, going into uh, an Aldra, I think. Yeah, that one's an Aldra. Range one from Rose. He is kind of a big deal. Yeah, Healy going for the same joke you did. Two hits and a crit off of Rose. She's rolling great. Uh, that's going to be hit crit into uh, an Aldra there. Or she can suffer a damage and reroll any number of her dice, I believe. So he could choose to suffer damage and reroll these defense dice. Hopefully he only gets one. I think hit crit. I, yeah, I don't know if you're going to roll better than that. Uh, fuel leak onto an Aldra. More points yet again for, um, uh, for Kyle. He is doing a great job so far of getting uh, everything he needs. Wow. I, I'm impressed. I mean, the the good news, if you are um, cornerback, though, is you still have your biggest gun in the fight, uh, or at least the beefiest gun with the um, with Nom here. 
Uh, yeah. Sarko can easily back up and just gum up the works. Um, and, I mean, you've still got Sunny at full as well. So things aren't looking too great, but you still got a good um, a good chance of winning this. Uh, FTF up asks, which dice god is to Kyle Prado before the game asking for a friend? That's a great <laughs> question. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know too. Um, and as Steven mentioned, the next Jawa event we are doing uh, is the Naughty and Nice Ban League. So for this league, uh, you get to ban two pilots from every faction. Uh, you'll get one game a week um, going through the new year, and you can play any list you want as long as uh, the list does not include the two pilots who is banned, uh, who are banned by your opponent of that faction. So if, say I pick Resistance, and my opponent has banned Finn and Tubbs, as I imagine cornerback will. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bucket shot at Nam, did he? Um, I guess so, because they rotated it, yeah. so I guess Bucket shot at Nam. Um, so uh, I imagine, yeah, I imagine cornerback, if he's playing, he will be banning Finn and Tubbs after today's match. Uh, so you won't be able to play those two, and you will have to play... Uh, one required uh, uh, pilot from your opponent's list for that faction. So for this oh, okay. instance, maybe um, you know, maybe cornerback decides to make bucket required, but ban Finn and Tubbs. So then you can't play Finn and Tubbs, but you can play. You have to have bucket. Um, it's a good, uh, a good, fun way to start getting people to play some of maybe your favorite pilots from factions that don't get enough love. I know for me, I have put some pilots on there. Like, I think I put a Resistance Bomber for my Resistance one because I love those things. Yeah. Um, I think I put... I don't know who I put for Scum anymore. Maybe I put Paylob. I don't remember. Um, actually, I think I did... Uh, I can look really quick. See, now I have to remember what I did. Um, oh, yeah, for Scum, I did Must Include Lando in the Escape Craft because I think he's a pretty solid coordinate machine. Um, huh. I also put Lieutenant Psy for Empire because, again, I fell in love with Psy over this uh, Upside Down event. Psy is a lot of fun. I mean, the attack, the action synergy you get from Psy feels it's like... Solid. Yeah, it, it just it feels like a rebel ship to me. <laughs> just the yeah, synergy. Right. Uh, Denfer saying, Andrew requires Resistance Bomber. Uh, shocked Pikachu. Yeah, indeed, right? If you know uh -huh. me, you know I quite like this ship. Uh, Rose does it coordinate on Bastion. Takes a calculate with three PO. Um, she's right there in the middle. She can do some good, uh, good blocks here. Uh, does the backup for Sarko? I like that. You're gonna get. You know yeah. you're probably gonna get a shot. Uh, a bump out of an uh, an ultra. That's right. So how do we sign up for this league? How much does it cost? So does sign up for this league. I'm actually gonna throw it in chat right now. If you type exclamation point tournament. If you can spell tournament and sit one like me. There we go. Uh, you will see the link to go to tabletop.to, see our series. Uh, the registration fee is $5, so pretty cheap for us. But the only prizes we're planning on doing right now um, are any cards from our previous event this year. For every win you get, you get to pick a card from our events that you can have. Um, and we will have a full listing of those cards up soon, so you know what to choose for. Um, it'll be a fun time. Getting fancy. Thank you, Jared. I've tried to do stuff with the Nightbot, see if we can get some stuff in here. Uh, an Evade for Bucket. Maybe Calculate. What are we looking at? Going to go for the Calculate. Uh, we saw Tubbs get blocked. So Tubbs did a blue maneuver, but for his ability, he must fully execute the blue maneuver, which means he doesn't get to get, he doesn't get, to get rid of both stress. He only gets to clear one. Now we've um, got a mess going on here. Yeah, this is a traffic jam if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree with Denver out here. I don't. I, that's what I was flying in the upside down with Psy plus Krennic plus the title. Um, having synergy in Empire just feels wrong. I agree. Here we go. Range one, auto blaster into Rose. Two crits going into Rose. She's taking two of them. Um, oh, no, this is going into Finn, I think, because he is strained, only rolling one. Finn is going to take a sealed power regulator and a blinded pilot. No more Finn shenanigans on offense. That will give Bucket Ooh. another charge for offense, though. But that does give you some points on Finn, which is what you need. Uh, Nate Handy asks, Steven, do you have a dad joke for us today? 
Um, I can come up with one really quick. <laughs> I'll let you work on that. Oh, Joe does mention we have a we've met our minimum people signed up. Uh, so we'll have a full new set, a new full set of holiday themed alt cards that you can choose from. Nice. So it's only five dollars. Only five dollars this time. Yep. This one is a smaller yeah. event, not a full tournament, just a casual league. Uh, when did so, you say it started? Uh, I actually don't know when it starts. I believe it's <laughs> next week, maybe end of this week. Um, going into Finn from Sunny. Uh, range two. Let's see event list. Not even nice league. It starts on the 29th is the last day for signups, I believe. Uh, so hit uh, eyeball for Sunny. Finn is going to get two. Or get one of eight. I'm sorry. Uh, Sunday is when it starts. Okay, so Sunday it starts. Um, Joe, you can throw a link directly to the uh, the ch uh, page in the chat if you want. Um, is that... Does he not have... He does. Okay, he's got it at the corner. Got the corner on Nam, three dice from Chewbucket. Uh, and he will use probably the Calculate and Chewbacca's ability. Yep, make that three hits. Uh, Nam's taking all three. That shields down on Nam. Uh, One, two, and three down on Nam. Uh, then we see uh, Tubbs going into Analdra. Tubbs continues to roll crits. Wow. Anadra gets two, though. She's fine. Yeah, I mean, Tubbs has been rolling incredibly well on offense. I mean, at this point, I imagine that's maybe why cornerback uh, keeps shooting at Tubbs. <laughs> Get this gun off the board that seems to be so incredibly consistent. Uh, speaking of the devil, Sarko's shooting at him right now. Range yep. one. And we're going to get a singular crit. You wish you had auto blasters on that right now, don't you? Oh, doesn't oh, matter. Heroic. Come on. Yeah, Where's heroic. heroic? Hole breach. That's Ouch. the one bad thing about these I1s is... Uh, they don't have a talent. They don't have a talent slot. A lot of them don't anyways. Uh, here we go with Sunny. No, an Aldra. This is an Aldra now going into tubs. You're going to try to finish him off. We'll get oh. hit crit. It could do it. Yeah, you need you need some you need some squiggles. There's one squiggle. Could be direct. Crit. It is direct. Oh, and he's dead. Commentator's curse right there. But honestly, with the amount of crits you've already seen, not seeing a direct yet was kind of surprising. <laughs> right. I would have shot at Nom Lom there, SMH. Um yeah, I think you were trying to get a shot back gone. I think that was the plan. Since Anadra could have shot you, try to get him out of the way first. Or them out of she yeah. out of the way. Her out of the way. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Finn gets nothing. He is blinded. He could add a usually could add a blank and heroic, but he's blinded, so he's got nothing there. Man, that's a bummer. Ouch. That's a bad roll. Yeah, that's Finn. not. I mean, it's a bad crit. I mean, because that would be great for Finn usually with a non unmodded Finn. But oh, finally dice cooling off. Bastion only gets one. Uh, Nadra evades it. Uh, you still have a shot with Rose. Um. So you're going to go into Sargo here because that's all you're, you can. She'll have two rerolls because there are two friendly ships in the attack arc. She has a Calculate. I mean, this is a good chance for her to do some damage. Uh, and she'll spend the Calculate. Yeah. And the Fuel Leak will trigger. Oh, uh, no, this is under Sargo. Sargo is undamaged at the moment. He's going to take Hit Crit. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuel Leak was under Adultra. Yep. Loose Stabilizer on Sargo. Yeah, unfortunately, Rose only had Sargo in her arc. But... Uh, loose stabilizer right, I on. A, I got a dad joke. All right, go for it. All right, this is a super dad joke. Uh, who is a jellyfish's best friend? Who? A peanut butter fish. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> that was a good one. All right. A peanut butter fish. There you go, Nate. <laughs> I don't even know if a peanut butter fish is a real thing. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Oh, man. Shame. <laughs> Joe just says shame. <laughs> Nate Handy says lol. I like that one. That one's I know good. I know all of you guys love my dad jokes. <laughs> did you hear oh. about the... Uh, uh, did you hear about the, the, the ship that sank in, back in May? No. It was the Cinco de Mayo. Oh. 
Uh, that's good. That's one my uh, my wife's grandfather would tell a lot. I think still does. He likes that one. But my, my dad uh, sends me pictures all the time of memes that are super dad jokes. Uh, I love it. That's awesome. That's the best. When, like I've got people like that on my Facebook too that are like share those all the time. That are like, oh, yeah. it's just nice wholesome content. <laughs> oof, these jokes. Oof. Which, I have I mean, to keep an eye out fun. for them. I keep them. Keep them coming. There you go. Some of them are just like. You just yeah, they're yeah. they're not bad enough to laugh at. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. You just kind of <laughs> shake your head at them, like what? I, like what is this? And, and then some of them are just like peanut butter fish. Yeah, I mean, come, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Very much so. Oh man, uh, what do you do if you're Rose here? I mean, what can you do? Mm, a blue maneuver. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Oh, Healy, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Sand Crawler. Launched an emote fireworks in the channel. I don't know what that means. But uh, cool. <laughs> it just um it Is just it... had fireworks on my screen. Oh cool. How about that? Um I like it. Didn't know you could do that. Yeah, it's Twitch adding and like so like the hype train and that stuff is just I still don't super get it, but that's okay. Um, By the way, since I'm on here, I'm gonna do a shameless plug. Oh absolutely, go for it. Yep. Yeah, so if you haven't um, if you haven't followed us, uh, go check out Dials and Dice. Yep. Uh, we are on Twitch, uh, what Twitch TV slash Dials and Dice. Um, you know what? I can. It said I can hear. Let me let me type that really quick in the chat. HTTPS slash slash. Yeah, I got a link. Uh, yeah, go for it. There you go. Throw it Here's in our chat. channel link. Perfect. Yeah, go follow Dials and Dice if you haven't. Uh, they do X-Men content uh, regularly, uh, and it's a fun channel. You can get some more dad jokes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we, we actually have a league that's going to be starting in January. Oh, yeah? Uh, it's uh, the Faction Favorites. So right now we are um, – I'm asking the community uh, who your favorite um, top five yeah. favorite pilots are in each faction. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll – throw the survey in the chat right there if anybody wants to uh add to it oh yeah absolutely check um, it out add to that uh that survey yeah so basically how it'll work is um you get to pick one so each week uh for seven weeks you'll fly a different faction mm -hmm. and you pick one of the faction favorite pilots to build your list around then you can't use any of the other favorites oh interesting uh, then you have to build uh it's a limit of three ships uh with no generics uh, okay and different chassis Cool. That'd so it's kind of like a, a Fat Aces um, yeah. format. That'd be cool. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. I'll have to look into that. That looks like a fun time. I'll, yeah, so I'll, I'll be launching the signups here soon for it. Right, I'm cool. working on the administrative stuff for it now. And Sweet. Support all that. that sounds fun. Sounds like a cool time. Yeah, the Bounty Hunter League was pretty fun too. So, Dallas yeah. and Dice, definitely check them out if you haven't. Uh, Rose does the one bank bumps. Finn, one forward bumps. Bastion, one forward bumps. Uh, we have a uh, certifiable uh, traffic jam going on. 5K out of Sunny, 5K out of Analdra. They're both trying to get out. Uh, meanwhile, Sarko did a one straight, I believe. Yep, did a two straight, I'm sorry. Two straight and bump on Sarko. Bucket is doing a three Talon. Moving oh, nice. backwards, fitting in very nicely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Joe asks, "Why don't eggs tell jokes?" Joe, uh, let me know. Why don't Why don't Hang they on. tell jokes? See if I can guess it. Uh, it's got to do something with a yolk. Yeah, I was gonna say, do they tell yolks instead? Is that the the, the punchline we're going for? Yep, that's probably it. Because <laughs> uh, you don't have mouse FTF going that's for the. One. Yeah, going for the anti-joke. They crack each other up. Very nice. Uh, Sunny, one hit onto Rose or Finn, maybe? Was that Finn? Who are we shooting at? That was Finn. Finn is gone. Oh. Initiative killed on Finn. Uh, that does give another 17 points to quarterback. The lead is down to three. Nice. Quarterback does take the lead. Creeping ahead. Uh, hit crit going, or, uh, Rose gets a reroll for Rose. She's going to take a hit crit. So shield and a crit, it is a structural damage. It's not what you want to see. It's starting to go the wrong way for old Kyle. Yep. 
but here comes a bucket. Three dice. Uh, gonna use Chewbacca. Because why would you not? Uh, Nom Lum taking hit hit oh. crit. That's half on Nom. And the crit is. Console Fire. Console. He's already engaged. It's not gonna be active this turn, but next turn could be useful for getting some extra damage in. I guess three hole left. Yeah, I mean, that's. I, again, that, that lead just switched again. Kyle's now up by two, 101 to 99. Wow. And this is a, this is a very bloody round. Uh, range three auto blaster shot onto Rose. Uh, only rolls one. Here, is here where you take the damage and reroll? Uh, Rose gets a reroll. She gets yep. it. Safe. One more joke because it fits so well. What's the best way to watch a fly fishing tournament? I don't know, Joe. What is the best way to watch a fly fishing tournament? On stream. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> yep, live stream. Yep, that's the yeah. joke. Very nice. Bucket. Ooh, takes two. He's going to get Chewbacca charges. That is half on Bucket. Now 15-point lead for cornerback. This round has gone back and forth and back and forth. Bastion, range one. He has a lock on Nom. He doesn't even oh. need the lock. This could be a dead Nom. It could be. You need natties. Those oh, are two he squiggles. Gets... He, takes he takes two. Vice starting to even out a little bit. Uh, gone are Kyle's incredible Maddie. ones and uh, cornerback's lackluster ones. Now you've got some more even dice. Uh, Rose has a shot. Going to go into Analdra. Range two. Try to finish an Aldra off. Those are two oh. Chris. You need two paint right here. Uh, and doesn't get it. Take a damage. You take a damage with an Aldra's ability and you reroll those two. Because you're dead anyways. Yeah, that's, the only, oh, that's the only way to live. Yep, you're dead anyways. You're going to take a damage with an Aldra. Uh, here goes a reroll. Yep. I like that I like that choice here. This is where I think it's Watch good. It. Watch it work. Oof. <laughs> nope. No such luck. You're taking two crits and Aldra uh, is gone. Holy hey, it cow. Was it. it was a solid shot. Do you know what the lead uh, is yeah. now? The lead has now swapped, swapped again to 117 oh, for Kyle God. and 116 for cornerback. I mean, this is crazy. This is a good final. That round, yeah, Alexa played Duel of the Fates, says Daniel. <laughs> Absolutely. This is a great final. You're right, Steven. I mean, that was a crazy round right there. I mean, we saw the lead change, what, four times that round? Yeah. Right. That's crazy. I mean, this has been a very exciting game. Uh, both players lined up to joust, um, and they, they basically went for it. I mean, right. the, the classic adage of if both players are jousting, one is wrong is probably still true. I just don't know who's in the wrong here. I mean, um, I, I, would have, I still would have chosen the um, the scum list as the joust with his auto blasters. But... I would have too, but I mean, he managed to stay out of the bullseye for the auto blaster for the initial engagement. And yeah. managed to do enough damage taking out Unkar. I mean, whew. I, I can imagine both players right now are on the edge of their seats. Uh, Battlebrow saying, I just tuned in again a few minutes ago, and now my stress levels have already risen. I love it. Indeed. I mean, <laughs> uh, it's a good thing this isn't a two-hour final, because, man, these players do not need two hours. No, it wouldn't. I mean, I, I, we would, it, we would not get the time. Finished, like, before, yeah, yeah. If we go to time. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you here. With 30 minutes left, over half the lists are destroyed. In the Joust, the more maneuverable list is usually wrong. That's a good rule of thumb from Carebor. If you're jousting, uh, you probably are a uh, less maneuverable list uh, because the more maneuverable one can pull you through the asteroid field. That's a good rule of thumb. Uh, I believe, I mean... Those one hards are good on those M3As too. Yeah, I was going to say, I think the M3As probably have that edge. However, the... Uh, um, what do you call it? The uh, the BD Astromix really do help those X wings at getting around, and, yeah. and the slam action on Bucket makes them super maneuverable. And streamers we saw curse. That yeah, streamers curse. Saying players don't need two hours means the game should now go to time. With the current score, the universe has spoken. Yeah, we'll see on that one. I don't know the um, uh, what was it the uh, course final or the, mm -hmm. the invitational? Yeah. Did you did you watch that final? Uh, the Sloan versus the um, yeah yeah the, yeah the Nantexes yeah every bit of two two hours yes and it did they still had chips on the board yes it did that I was mean, crazy yeah that that 
that both of those lists were insane. I mean, that Sloan, was a really good game. Sloan going up is also, I think, a good thing. But you're right; it was an incredible game by both players. I mean, they earned it. <laughs> that was oh, not yeah. a that was not a we just made good lists. That was a we both played our tails off. Right. Absolutely. Um, thinking we see a K turn from Rose. Daniel asks. I think probably. Yes. Um, I mean, I don't know what else you would do. The only thing she could do is coordinate Bastion if she doesn't K-turn, but I don't think there's a point in doing so, considering, uh, I mean, Bastion has a lock. I guess you could give him a focus, so we could, like, K-turn, have a focus lock onto Nom. Um, but I think a K-turn, just keeping your gun in the fight, is probably better. Uh, I mean, Bucket almost... Free. Yeah. Problem is you don't want Bucket to bump Nom here. I don't know if you're going to be able to avoid that though. Um, it depends yeah. on what Sarko does. If Sarko, because if Sarko st sticks with I have the, uh, I've got that loose stabilizer. I need to do a straight. Um, you're not going to see Sarko move. And then if Rose doesn't move fast enough, Nom's not moving. Um, All right. I mean, because he's rotating half points with that loose stabilizer right now. Yeah. I mean, the only problem, I think the only problem with the K-turn is it means Rose is going to be shot at, and she has two health with one defense die because of that structural. That is true. So, and she probably won't have any allies in range for rerolls. Um, but you're going to see the K-turn anyways. Oh. Yep. Rose may be a sacrificial lamb, so to speak, here. I don't think that's a bad maneuver. Uh, Sarko does choose the one forward. Does not go anywhere. One hole on Nomlum with a console fire is pretty scary. I agree. Are you going to see a Talon out of uh, Bastion? He's betting on Nom going further. Uh, I probably would have 4K'd there, but Talon I think makes sense too. Uh, Nom could die with the console fire, but remember Nom is going to be able to shoot regardless because of the upside down rules. Uh, a focus for Sunny. Nom. I thought Nom was going to do the 4K there. Yeah, Nom doesn't move. Nom just says, I'm going to bump and stay good. Yeah, this is where I think I would have done the 4K with Bastion. Because I think that would have ensured that if Nom bumps, you still get to shoot him. Uh, as is now, you're just going to have to hope Nom rolls a console fire. Yes, so, uh, or hope that she survives. Or that Rose survives to shoot Nom. Those are your Cal two options. only has two shots this round. Ooh, that's a console fire. That's a death for Nom. He still gets to shoot. He does. I mean, he does Bastion or Rose. He's gonna shoot Bastion. It gives you four dice. You're not. You can auto blaster him with three if you wanted to. He's gonna just choose the four. Uh, why is it four? He doesn't have punishing one. Yep, that's right. He is now realized it should not be four. It should be three. Yep. Uh, you'll get a crit. You'll Greedo another crit, and Bastion's gonna take two shields because that's an auto blaster. Yep. Two shields on Bastion. Bastion one away is, from half. yeah, one away from half. I mean, the lead has increased to twenty-two. If you are, um, if you're Jeremy, yeah, the auto blaster. Go into, you go. I would go into Sarko right here with. Um, I think so too. With the other two ships. Oh, Sunny gets to add a blank. Doesn't do much. <laughs> yeah, that was an angry throw right there. Yeah, that's when you take the target log right. Uh, right. Bucket. Gets to shoot at uh, Sarko. Probably yeah, Sarko. I think you're right. Sarko. He's got you no got mods. Dead man switch. Oh, yeah. You can hit an altar for that. All right. Sunny. Yeah, that's a good point. Yep. Going to shoot Sarko. Uh, we'll probably Chewbacca. Yeah, why not? And yes. Sarko's fine. Uh, Bastion, no shots? Sarko first. Two on the bucket. No mods. One, One hit. Two of eights. Natties. I believe that's a calculate with target priority. Because uh, he has a higher initiative yeah. in this case. Do you want me to ping it? Uh, no, it's a may. So if they miss it, they miss yeah. it. Um, that is true. Yeah, it's the championship round. It's on them for the uh, abilities. Uh, Rose gets hit yeah. crit. Hit crit, or crit going into Sarko. Console fire. Ouch. Oof, that's half on Sarko. I mean, this is going the way you want. I don't know. This is still such a close game. 
I mean, that's the thing right now is that like this this game is super close. I was gonna say if you're a cornerback, you must feel disappointed right now, but I mean, honestly, you're still in this game by tooth and nail. Both players have been right. playing just. Oof, it's been so back and forth. Uh, Bastion takes a lock onto Sarko with his ability. Oh, nice. Yep, just confirming it. Yeah, Bastion's ability is very solid. It is. 47 points for free locks is good, turns out. <laughs> I like the new, uh, the, the other new I2. Oh, uh, Nimi Chirin? Nimi, yeah. Yep. Nimi has that pseudo, that pseudo advanced optics built in. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Because if it's a well, higher it's... initiative, you can change the eyeball or the blink to an eyeball result. Right. Yeah. I like that too. I agree with you there. Uh, I mean, it's it's solid though, because your average roll is is a hit, blank eyeball. Yeah, absolutely. You, and you at I two, eyeball, you got three hits. I mean, I two, I mean, you're usually gonna have someone at higher initiative, unless you're facing yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, a Focho Swarm or something. Right. Um. I think my issue with Nimi is she's still like forty nine points. I want to say. That's the thing. The the T seventies. Yeah. I would love to see. I would love to see him drop below um, 41. Because they actually did get a drop. Now they're at 41, they right? I believe so, you're right. Yeah, the generic's you at 41. Almost fit, you can almost fit five in a list. I have to imagine that's um, intentional. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see what would happen. Like, if everybody would bring it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, 5X had a moment of popularity uh, with with Rebels. But it didn't last for very, very long. So I don't think you'd see five resistance T70s well, that actually, much. Uh, they actually dropped the Rebel T-65s. They did. Yeah, I really like what they did with the Rebel T-65s. I think they all needed a little bit of help. They were all a bit underwhelming. So uh, doing that here, I think, is definitely good. Uh, problem for Sarko coming up, though, is Sarko has a loose stabilizer and a console fire. I so mean... if he doesn't go straight, he takes a damage. But can repair the console. But that, that loose stabilizer does repair, and then he can repair console fire. But if he goes straight... And repairs loose stabilizer. He may be taking a damage from console fire. Right. I mean, either way you look at it, he could fit a one straight there. He could, but the question is, which do you repair? It's a tough right. choice. Um, Major League X-wing. Dylan says T70s are so much better. I do think the extra shield on the T70 and the ability to get that extra die when those portals are closed makes them better. Um, I don't know and if it makes them. I don't know if it makes them that much better, but definitely good. Native boost is the native is, boost. Is... Well, the native it's the native boost versus the native barrel roll. Which do you prefer at that point? Uh, and that's... I think for higher higher initiative, the boost is better. I agree, but on the I one and on the I one and the I two respectively. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Like five X with rebels is I twos. Five X with resistance in this situation would be I ones. So right, that's the other thing to consider. Uh, the I-1s are definitely great jousters, so I'm not going to deny that. Especially at now, 42 points for an I-1 with a BB astromech is just good. I mean, it just helps right. you get pretty much anywhere. So, we'll see. Um, we'll see if they get more play now. But they are out of hyperspace, because they only have the named T-65s there. Uh, one thing I'm excited for now, too, is uh, Poe dropping 5 points, both versions. That's nice. Oh, you can fit Merle 4X. Yeah, that's not nice. bad. That's a solid choice. That's a solid uh, solid list. Merle and 4X wings seems good. Yeah. They're yeah. All, all I1s. Yeah. That seems, that seems solid. Merle being cheaper is still just wild to me. I still don't get that, but <laughs> whatever. So um, we're, we're, me and Lee are designing an alt art for Merle. Oh, yeah? Uh, and I'll get and tell you. I don't have a picture to show you, but... Uh -huh. uh, so... If if you've seen the picture of Merle, he he's got like the kind of longish hair and the yeah, beard. yeah. Um, well, it's kind of like a a meme picture, and there's there's several levels of comedy in it. But um, we took Hagrid from Harry Potter mm -hmm. and cropped Merle's face into Hagrid and put him in front of an A wing. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I love it. Kind of the, co the comedy lies in yeah. Hagrid can't fit in an A wing. Uh, it's kind of got and, like a it, like Merle to me always well, gets like that. My name is Earl vibe of just kind of disheveled and yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. And then uh, and then you got Merle Merle Haggard and you got to play on names with Merle Haggard. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah exactly. Uh, That's great. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah, Denfro Denfro saying maybe an unpopular hot take. I don't think bringing T seventies down for five T seventies is good. T 
think maintaining a good balance between generic efficiency and interesting unique pilots is good for the game and that increasing the number of cornerstone chassis that can be spammed causes things to converge towards a less diverse field. I tend to agree with what you're saying here. I do. I agree. Um, we're going to see a coordinate to calculate here. Um, I think it would be interesting to see five T-70s. Uh, but, yeah, I, I do see what you're saying, and I also agree with that. Like, having more options for the... Like, I, I, that's one thing I do like about Merle being cheaper than the generic, is now if you're going to fly, like, five A-wings, Jay Thornhill just... Or, Jay Thornhill subscribes with Prime. Thank you, Joe. Yep. Uh, thank you for the Prime subscription. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your uh, Prime account to your Twitch account. Give any streamer you want a free sub each month and take your money away from Jeff Bezos five dollars at a time. Um, right. <laughs> see, you see the tractor on a bucket going to the left. Yeah, you got to You know, you got to start somewhere. You can't. You know, we can't take his money that quickly. But five dollars at a time. That's definitely not faster than he's making it. Right. <laughs> right. Um, Joe says he finally figures out figured out how to do it. Good for you, Joe. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> uh, you're gonna see Bucket probably slam here. I think he's going for the slam. I would get out of range. Yeah, I mean, you do a three talon slam. Don't bother taking the, or getting rid of the disarm. Just keep the disarm. Then you can come in next yeah. turn pretty good. I mean, right. I imagine that's what. Uh, J yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Uh, I think I would have slammed the other way though. Yeah, that may be a little iffy on that obstacle, uh, but yeah, maybe one bank probably still fits. Yeah, I um, think so. But like I was saying about the generics and uh, Merle and such, having Merle be one point cheaper is kind of nice uh, because um, oh, he's actually going to take he's going to change and uh, swap the disarm to flip a damage card. Remember, Bucket's ability does let him pick what damage card he uh, turns over, which is kind of nice yes. here. Going to pick damaged engine. Um, but I think having Merle cheaper gives you that uh, option if you have a few name pilots cheaper than their generics. Since they can't be spammed, it's not a huge issue. Um, and it helps you see more diversity in lists other than I have now four generic uh, I want A wings on it. Okay, I've got three generics in Merle. Um, yeah. Here comes the range two auto blaster under Bastion, and you get one crit. I mean, that's going through. Yep. Structural damage. That's yep. not good. Well, you don't have anything to follow it up with. And he's probably going to take out Sarko here with Rose and RJ. He, he's still got that console fire, too. Uh, bucket rolls two, uh, rolls one. Yeah, one evade. One evade. Bastion has a structural. I mean, that's that's not great. Lead has gone down to 13. Console fire does not kill Sarko. Or does not hurt Sarko, oh. I should say. That's big. And then Rose... Not going to have any re-rolls, but she does have a calculate. She'll spend it for one. And oh. Sarko will take one. Now, Sarko's turn... Well, I mean, Sarko's out of the fight. A, did he bump or something? No, he tracked his Bucket. Action? Oh, that was his action, okay. Yep, I think he was trying to keep Bucket out of the fight. Uh, and maybe missed... Um, I don't know. I think maybe he was assuming Bucket was going to be in between Rose and Analdra. Or Sunny, rather, yeah. excuse me. And Bucket ended up just kind of peeling out. Um, yeah, I mean, that seems not super. Uh, checking range for missing the Chewbacca car. He's going to get Chewbacca on there. It has to be at range 3 for when a friendly ship takes a damage. Uh, that is in range 3. That Oh, wait a minute. That actually Bastion. is really smart. Uh, Jeremy says... Sarko backs up here and triggers Dead Man Switch on Rose and Bastion. Yeah, you get half points on Bastion and kill Rose. Well, uh, Bastion's already half. You got structural, but you can. Rose will be at one at that point. Yeah, yes. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, I think that's probably solid, and it prevents Sarko from triggering that on Sunny. But do you take that risk to leave um, an X Wing with. You know, still in the fight against Sunny. I mean, at this point, you can't do anything with uh, Sarko. I mean, he, he he's going to take at least one turn to go straight and repair the loose stabilizer, and he can't do that. that. True. And he might die on console fire anyway. Yeah, I think yeah, at this point I, you just go for it. I agree. Sacrifice him. I, I would love to see that. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you're playing scum. You got to resort to some scummy tactics. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, 
Rose is going to go forward, uh, probably coordinating here. Probably going to coordinate a focus to Bastion. Yeah, because Bastion's going to Talon. I mean, I don't think anyone would be surprised to see that. Ooh, he backs up. Loose Stabilizer dies. Here you go. See who he's hitting. Rose and Bastion will both take one. That is going All to right. give uh, Bucket his other Chewy charge. Uh, we'll see if he remembers. So we've got an Untouched Sunny against some Bleeding Resistant ships. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're none of them are good right now. They're all pretty weak. Um, but you just blocked Sunny. Nice. It's a very good move on Rose's part. Bucket's going to do the one bank, try to avoid the debris. Gets it. Clears that. Does not have the ta uh, does not have the um, tractor. Uh, going to choose a calculate. Uh, going to recover Chewy. So yeah, I should have had that charge. Fair enough. Um, going to barrel roll and just stay out of Sunny's arc. I mean, I I don't know if that's necessary. But I guess you already have the pseudo calculate with Chewbacca's ability. So can you hear the player's voice chat? No, we're not in the voice. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry, that was just me yeah, assuming. Kind of, that was me assuming. Kind of uh, <laughs> Sonny can add the focus if he wants. Um, if, I, if I'm streaming solo, I'll stay in the player's voice chat. Uh, but yeah, with yeah. someone else, it's way too much going on to pay attention to that. Chewbacca changes it right. to hit crit onto cornerback. Cornerback rolls three dice. It's going to take one. Now we've got Bastion. Range two with a focus. This could be the final shot. Depends could on how be. well they're rolling. Bastion nice. will focus. That's good. That's good. That's what you needed. Two hits. And he's going to take oh. a target lock on Sunny. With Bastion's ability. The game is almost over. I mean, this is close. Um, one more damage on Sunny. Yeah, I mean... The good news, if your cornerback is you have a stressed A wing, or stressed X wing, and a stressed Rose, you're like do the five K. Yeah, I'm I sunny. mean, they, they, neither one of them can really turn around to shoot you this turn. You can probably take one of them out. Uh, the the right. issue here is going to be whether or not Bucket can get to you. Um, you've got to try. To, game. Yeah, you've got to try to keep Bucket at bay, though. I mean, with all of these resistance ships as weak as they are. I mean, you still got a chance on Sunny. I need to take out that shield. I forgot to do that on Sunny. <laughs> he doesn't have a shield. Um, it'll be really close, though. I mean, Rose jam time. Uh, I don't think you jam here because I think Sunny's just going to do a 5K. Like, yeah. I, I don't know where else Sunny's going to go. I mean, I guess you could hard turn with Sunny, try to clip uh, Bucket, but the problem with trying to clip Bucket is he can just slam out if he needs to. I mean, this has been this has been one heck of a uh, match for both players. So Rose just bumps. Yep. Bastion closes S foils. He's going to barrel roll. He's trying to block the five K. I don't. Uh, he might. No, Bucket doesn't go yet. Five K does not block oh. it. Oh, look at that! I should clear the stress. It's like though. a glove. Yep. And we're gonna see a one bank. I think Scum will get second and three of the four Jawa tournaments were getting jobbed. I mean, listen, so you just got to get a Scum player up here to win. So we got... Range we got one Auto dice. Blaster. That's... You need one to not die with Bastion. You do not get it. He didn't link the focus. He's going to take two. That is a dead Lieutenant Ouch. Bastion. I mean, Ouch. that's what you needed right there. The question is, can you survive this follow-up shot from Bucket? Bucket now has his Chewbacca active, so if he gets two eyeballs, it's a hit crit. And he's going to spend Chewy because he can. And that's the game! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Trubert is our upside-down champion. He has defeated the mighty cornerback. Uh, cornerback takes a very impressive second after a very tough match. Uh, GG to both game. players. Absolutely. That was incredible. Um... That was so close for both players. I mean, uh, blue player's luck score was a 1.2. Luck score for uh, red, which is cornerback, was a negative 4.5. So his red was what was bad. His reds were bad. His greens were average. 
Uh, meanwhile, Kyle had a little bit better reds than greens, um, a little bit better than average reds. So not a huge yeah. difference uh, dice-wise. Uh, five points is still decent, but congrats to both players. I mean, they both played incredibly, you know, cornerback did a there? great job to be here. I'm still here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah. I made a cut out there for a reason. Um, both players did a great job, though. Congrats to both on making it this far in the tournament. And, of course, uh, cornerbacks continued success of just showing us Americans how to uh, play this game. I right. mean, he won the Renegades team champ. He's won a Renegades regular champ. He's run, He won the squad leader tournament and nearly won this one. But Kyle manages to best him. Congrats to both players. Uh, Steven, thank you so much for co-commentating. I had a great time. Yeah, it was good. Absolutely fun match. Um, uh, and, of course, if you guys have not yet, go to Dials and Dice on Twitch. Follow the channel. They do some fun X-Men content. We've got a league coming up. We've got a league coming up. Go check it out. Um, FTF, FTF Up says, As Kyle was the only person who beat me twice this tournament, I'm going to claim my honorary second place. I think that's fair. <laughs> The honorary second place. Uh, but be sure to check out Dials and Dice. Um, and until then, guys, uh, we will see you in the next Jawa event. If you are in America, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Steven, that goes to you as well for tomorrow. Thank you. You as well. Uh, thank you, sir. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and we will see you uh, back soon. And we'll start streaming some of the Naughty and Nice League as soon as we've got that started on Sunday. Be sure to sign that up if you want to. Um, and that will do it for us here at the Jawa Cast. Uh, Hopefully, you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and again, a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. Uh, and I'm signing off now. I have been Andrew, joined along by Stephen of Thousand Dice. Have a great rest of your day.